Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTEX and Wearable. I'm Basil, these are the Samsung Gear S2s. We've got the Gear S2 regular and the Gear S2 classic as well. The regular version has a plastic strap, it's gonna come in at a more affordable price point. The classic version, a leather strap, better build quality in terms of in-hand feel and on-wrist feel, I suppose. So they're both made of stainless steel. The leather one, as you can see, the classic one looks really similar to a watch, unsurprisingly. That's clearly what Samsung was going for. It doesn't look like a smartwatch until that screen fires up. Up. Gear S2 regular, it's a lot more playful, a lot more fun, a lot younger. You can get colored straps um, and they are interchangeable straps. You've also on both of them got this rotating watch face, uh, which is a really neat, neat way of interacting with your smartwatch. Still decent build quality on this thing, even if it is a cheaper of the two. It feels solid. IP68 means you can take it swimming with you as well. And it's got buttons for interaction as well as that touch screen and that ro rotary dial around the watch face. So the options are up abundant right there. In addition, you can also see the touch screen swiping right will take me to my widgets and swiping left will take me to my notifications. So the widgets are like widgets on Android. They're in addition to the applications that you can install and you can customize what widgets are there. They're basically shortcuts um, or glances as you've seen on the Apple Watch. And really, really easy to just fly right through them using the rotary dial. It's quite intuitive. Um, I've never used this operating system before and I'm finding it a piece of cake to get my head around from the get-go. Around the back you can see heart rate monitor and you've also got the strap. The strap from the regular version um, requires a Samsung specific strap fitting. It's not a standardized strap fitting um, and you can swap them out. They do tend to come in fun, funky colors. Uh, so I'm guessing this is, like I said earlier, targeted at maybe a younger, more playful market um, but I definitely, definitely prefer the classic by a country mile. Um, so yeah, the regular version does still fit on the wrist quite nicely and it doesn't look too out of place on a wrist like mine. What's also nice is the heart rate monitor allows for some really nice visualization. You can actually see it measuring your heart rate. Um, so for example, um, the Apple Watch doesn't show that visualization and sometimes it just fails, which means you need to clean the sensor. This at least gives you some kind of visual feedback. What's also really neat about the Gear S2 and Gear S2 Classic is that it always monitors your activity and it automatically flips between sports mode and regular mode, um, which is awesome. So you don't have to tell it you're going for a run. It knows you're going for a run. Um, and all that's just a really, really nice uh, thing for the people who don't want to be faffing about too much with their smartwatch. It's also got a few other things like NFC built in. It's going to support Samsung Pay when that lands later this year. The 1.2 inch uh, circular display is an AMOLED with 360 by 360 resolution, um, just shy of 300 pixels per inch or thereabouts. Dual core chipset inside 512 mega of RAM 4 gig of internal memory it's got a 250 milliamp battery and supports wireless charging ships with a wireless charger as well um, like I said it runs Tizen and I'm really happy about this I think the smartwatch platform at the moment um, across the operating systems is really drying up in terms of innovation Apple OS is over complicated um, the watch looks nice sure but it doesn't really feel like a easy to pick up and go experience like this does in addition the classic just adds that real element of refinement to that whole thing looks beautiful um, the actual thing surrounding the the twisting mechanism sorry surrounding the screen is also much much richer it's got grooves that make it really easy to um, control and the feedback you get, the click feedback is just exceptional. Um, this is my favorite smartwatch on first impression to date. I prefer it to the Huawei watch. Really keen to check out the Motorola Moto 360 and see what I prefer. But thus far, um, I'm really excited about the uh, Samsung Gear S2 Classic specifically. Um, it weighs 42 grams as well, so it isn't too heavy. Um, and it's, like I said, IPS 68. So can take it swimming um, and yeah really like it standardized strap fitting so you can take your pick if you get the more premium version haven't got releases or pricing just yet but hopefully these will drop soon hopefully we'll get one in and then we can give you a more conclusive rundown as to what we think of samsung's brand new smartwatch hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did click that like button and if you like btech subscribe that's how you're going to stay on top of everything we do thanks for watching